Hi, my name is Lily Francois. Welcome to my presentation about gray wolf husbandry and conservation. Over the summer of 2021, I was an animal care and education intern at the California Wolf Center. The CWC is a 501c3 nonprofit organization located in Julian, California. Their mission is dedicated to the return of wild wolves to their natural habitat and to the people who share the landscape with them. They achieve this mission in many ways, such as conservation through multiple programs, education in which they provide educational programs to the public, and research. The CWC is home to two species of wolves. The first resident is the Northwestern Gray Wolf, and this is the species of wolves that were a part of the major reintroduction program for Yellowstone National Park in the 1990s. They can be found in many locations of North America, and their current conservation status depends on the location of the packs. This is the case because of recent conservation policies. The second resident species is the Mexican Gray Wolf, aka El Lobo. They inhabit the southwest area of the United States and Mexico. Mexican gray wolves are an endangered species and have an active recovery plan. The gray wolf is known as a keystone species and their presence or lack of can have many impacts on the ecosystem. A great example of wolves impact on the ecosystem is Yellowstone National Park. As seen in the diagram, wolves impact many species that can be found in Yellowstone. In the late 1800s, as the U.S. was expanding, wolves started to disappear due to a government-led predator extermination. With wolves removed, this allowed the elk populations to grow exponentially. In turn, with high populations, the aspen tree population fell, as elk feed on the young trees. Everywhere in blue represents where wolves roamed. They were considered common and widespread animals. By 1960, this is where you could find wolves in the U.S. Their population was almost completely wiped out in the lower 48 states. Through protections and reintroductions, wolves have made a comeback in multiple areas of the U.S. The current population of wolves in the lower 48 states is estimated to be about 6,500 individuals. The areas in blue are where they are found now. The CWC participates in three programs that contribute to wolf conservation. The Mexican Wolf Species Survival Plan is a binational collaboration with Mexico to facilitate the recovery of Mexican wolf populations. The Mexican Wolf Conservation Plan works in conjunction with the SSP through cross-fostering, working with range riders, and field volunteers. The Working Circle partners with ranchers, producers, agencies, and other conservation groups in the Southwest to reduce wolf livestock conflict. In the 1970s, it was found that seven Mexican wolves out of 11 individuals were unrelated enough to begin the captive breeding program. The main goals of the SSP is to ensure the survival of Mexican wolves and establish a self-sustaining population in order to downlist and delist the Mexican wolf. This captive breeding program has an integral role in the recovery of Mexican wolves as it not only increases their population, but gene diversity as well. Both the United States and Mexico participate in the reintroduction of Mexican wolves. With the efforts of the SSP, the 2021 population count totaled 196 wolves in the wild. My role as an animal care and education intern was important to maintain the facility and contribute to Mexican wolf conservation efforts. I worked closely with the small staff, volunteers, and other interns. Two of my three days, I would help prepare food and feed the wolves. This would include weighing and sorting the food before reaching each habitat to feed them. I would also help prepare enrichment that would either be used for the non-ambassador wolves or during the behavioral enrichment tour. Enrichment could be tactical food or scent. I would also take note of any changes in behavior or physicality to report to the staff. While habitat maintenance was the less exciting work, it was very important. Maintenance could range from trimming to reduce the possibility of fires, cleaning water tubs, and cleaning their scat. Facility projects would include any work that needed to be done to ensure the facility was working smoothly. At the nature store, I would act as a docent to speak about wolf conservation and the CWC. 
During the tours, I would perform multiple duties such as checking guests in and crowd control of the tour groups. While I have always had a love for wolves, this internship taught me how important keystone species such as wolves are. While I knew that wolves were not the scary predators that they are perceived as, observing their behaviors firsthand had showed me how curious they are and that they are largely misunderstood animals. My internship at the CWC also taught me wildlife animal husbandry and how much work it takes to ensure the safety and health of non-domestic animals. By doing this work, my love of caring for animals has grown greatly. While I am currently working with domestic animals in multiple settings, this work has heightened my interest in working towards a career of providing wildlife animal husbandry. Secondly, I have learned how conservation efforts is a collaboration between many organizations, and through that, great things can be achieved. On top of increasing my interest in wildlife husbandry, I have also learned that I would like to work in conservation as I believe it is important to preserve the animals and ecosystems that inhabit our earth. Lastly, this internship has allowed me to gain important public speaking skills and become more comfortable and confident when speaking to the public. This internship had challenged me in physical ways, allowed me to expand my knowledge and grow as a person. You can also contribute to the conservation of wolves. If you have the chance and are in the San Diego County area, you can visit the center or other conservation centers throughout the country. This is a great way to observe the curiosity of the wolves firsthand. You can also contribute by donating to the CWC or other organizations. This is a great way not only to support their conservation, but also directly help in taking care of the wolves. Lastly, learning more about the efforts of conserving the wolf populations and helping in the fight is an excellent way to contribute. Here, I have listed some extra resources to learn more about wolf conservation and Mexican gray wolf recovery. Thank you for joining me and learning about wolf conservation. The Wolves of the California Wolf Center would also like to thank you.